Kia ora guys, Jay Nuts here for Juice TV, sitting with Andrew from Fun. How are you? I'm good. Good, good. I'm oh, very good, thank you. And uh, big, massive congratulations from all of New Zealand, us at Juice TV as well, for taking home two Grammys. Thank you. At Thanks the Grammys. So that was amazing. Now, you were placed in the same category as people such as Adele, John Legend, level one best new artist before. How does it feel to be placed in such a prestigious category? It's amazing. That, that one means so much to me because it's, it's not just for a song or an album or, or whatever, it's, it's kind of us and who we are as, as artists and I think it's, it's kind of saying that they hope that we're going to make an impact on the, the world of music for a long time to come and that just means so much to me. Does it feel like pressure though because they've gone on to do massive things, do you feel like yourself you're just like, oh I'm expected to do massive things as well? Yeah, kind of, there's, it's a good pressure though, I feel like you know, I, I as an individual and us as a band we work best when there's a little pressure on us and when you know, when I was in school, I used to not do a paper until it was an hour before due, and I would scramble and do great work. You're you know, a crammer. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah, and I, I think that's kind of how I am with it, with with music too. Like, if if there's a deadline, if there's pressure, that's what kind of clicks my brain into uh, gear. And uh, you also took home Song of the Year, which is a massive title as well for We Are Young. And I think you guys got massive exposure because of Glee, because of that song. Am I right? Mm -hmm. um, what it feel like to have almost like sudden fame overnight? Uh, it felt really good. I mean, we've, we've been a band for about five years and we've been touring in different bands for about the last 12 years. Mm. And so to be putting that much work into something for so long and kind of have nothing happen, I mean, gradually things increased and we had some fans and we were able to tour successfully, but yeah. nothing like the last year or so, ever since kind of Glee and, and the Super Bowl and like a lot of different things, a lot of pieces fell into place that really kind of made all that other hard work worth it. Yeah. Um, so it just feel, it feels amazing. It's, it's great. It's nice to have some validation for all that effort. All right, now you've you've featured um, with Jim, Janelle Monae. Well, she's featured on your song. Pink has worked with Nate. Uh, how does it usually work? Is it through management or the artist getting in contact with the other artists themselves? Th those were actually both cases of of the artists interacting directly, which is something oh, that we're really proud of, especially with, with yeah. Janelle. Is that it's not just like an executive in an office saying like these guys will sell and, and she'll sell and we'll put them together and they'll both sell figure together and uh, it was it was really like I, I love Janelle as an artist I have so much respect for her uh, our producer ran into her at a show played the song and asked if she'd be interested yeah. and, and she liked the song so it was very organic and very natural um, and now Lady Gaga she calls her fans the little monsters Katy Perry calls her fans the Katy Cats what do you call your fans? I don't know. I don't really have a name for them. Can I? Can I give you a sure, suggestion? Yeah, please do. The funinators. Funinators. Yeah. The double N is nice. Fun. fun and, and. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah, we'll take we roll it. With that? Yeah. You, can you please like post it on Twitter for me? And be like J nuts. That's my name. I haven't. Can't I haven't tweeted in like a month or more. I'm done with Twitter. Now's, now's the time. No. 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 Oh. Maybe. Okay. If I do tweet, it'll be that you say the J nuts says it's funinators. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Funinators, I said it first. And so out giving too much away, what can your fans expect? Well, the Funinators, what can they expect from tonight's show? You can expect that we are very proud to be playing music. You know, I, I guess when I was young, I always dreamed about traveling the world and playing music. And my kind of wildest fantasies have come true and that I get to kind of do both at the same time. And it's neat that like, our songs have made it here before we have. And we know that like, people like Some Nights and people like We Are Young and hopefully the rest of the album and we get to come here and play and make new friends and we we're really proud of that fact it's not like we're just coming here and like looking at a name on a piece of paper and like oh hello you know hi Auckland we know that we're here we're proud to be here we're really excited to be here and you can expect that like we're gonna be really excited to play and we're gonna give it everything we have I've got down to your left there there is a page full of photos this is what I like to call the lots of fun quiz can you see that awful pun there is it a pun? Yep, I think it is. It is not awful though, it's, All right. it's fine. Oh, okay, put it in a song. This here, I want you to say, for, say to me, yay or nay? That looks like a really, really comfortable sweater. You can tell by kind of the fabric that's coming off of it <laughs> that it's very soft. And look, you've got that tube there. You, you yeah. put a straw in your cup and you're sorted. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna say yay. Flick over, who's hotter, Katy Perry or our ex-Prime Minister, not. Helen Clark? I mean, I could, I could like be cheeky and say, say the ex-Prime Minister, but Katy Perry is so much hotter. Um, and flick the page. Who's hotter, Katy Perry or Beyonce? <sighs> That's tough. You know, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Beyonce because I I just I heard. Uh, I think the song is called Countdown. I hadn't heard it in a while. Yes. I heard that and I was realizing the production is amazing. And like she, not not that Katy Perry isn't because she's a phenomenal artist too. But like Beyonce is 
so fully in command of her art, and it's really, really cool and inspiring to be like creating at the same time as, as she, somebody like her. She truly is a queen. Yeah. Next page. Now, what's going on, do you reckon, in this picture? Has he, A, just won Lotto, B, was kicked in the groin, or C, has he just been reunited with his long lost son? You know, I see the couch there behind him. Mm. So I'm gonna say reunited, but he looks anguished, so maybe his son kicked him? Um, oh wow, double combo there, but no, it, he didn't kick him, he was reunited. Oh, Random, reunited. but slightly funny. Give me a fake laugh now. <laughs> oh, love it. Um, who is your most famous contact in your phone? My most famous contact in my phone? That's a very good question. I used to have I used to have Blake Lively's number, but I can't remember how I got it. And I only had it saved with, like you can dial somebody's number with like two digits before it and it'll show up as blocked or something. Yeah, yeah. And I only had it with those two numbers because I wouldn't, you know, I would, it would only be for like a prank call, but I never, you know, I don't, I don't really make prank calls, so I didn't do that. Um, would you rather be known as a famous leader or an inventor? Hmm, I think an inventor. Because inventors, like leaders, are, are important, but really the inventors are the ones that, that innovate and change the course of history. When you when you look back at the real, the real landmark times and real landmark shifts in human culture, it's it's always the inventors that kind of push things forward. Oh my God, that was an amazing answer. <laughs> that was a Helen Clark answer right there. Um, and next one, be friend zoned by your crush or have your best friend fall in love with you? I think I would rather have my best friend fall in love with me, mm -hmm. because if if we are best friends, then there's clearly some sort of connection there already, so yeah. there might be something to it. Next one. Do you prefer Steve Carell in 40-year-old virgin or an ink man? 40-year-old uh, virgin, for sure. Yep, give me a reason why. Uh, I think that his character in 40-year-old virgin was like a brilliant, like, Dickensian type character, yeah. and I, like he was, he was funny in Anchorman, but I think he was just funny. I think there was so much more depth and richness to the 40 year old virgin character. I think my favorite scene would be the waxing piece. Oh, that was amazing, yeah. And then Anchorman would be the pants party. I can't remember how that one goes. But. That was a good one too, yeah. I love, I love in 40 year old virgin where he's like riding his bike home after the first card game and he's like, I'm so stupid, and then he's like, those guys are cool. Love it. And lastly, this is our last one of this beautiful little interview. Stub your toe or bite your tongue? Toe. toe. I, I hate my feet. I don't care about them. No, and they're not going to sit. And at least you can um, still talk properly. Mm -hmm. the, tongue tongue. Is, the tongue is essential. Let Lionel lick Luther's lusty leathers. You can <laughs> say that, that kind of thing. Oh, no, I can't do that type of thing. But way up the odds, I think I'd go with toe as well. Yeah. Initial pain, bad, but toe. Anyway, thank you so much for this short but sweet little interview. And uh, best of luck for the performance tonight. I'm sure well, it'll go you. well. You wow your audiences. And uh, on to Singapore. On to Singapore. Cool. Thanks for having me. Thank you.